To create a short-term forecast, navigate to the Forecasting tab, and then up to Create Forecast Short-Term. A short-term forecast is used for generating schedules uh, using dynamic shifts. So we'll start here first with a forecast name. So we'll do this for November. You can give it a description if need be, and then pick the number of weeks you like to forecast for. Uh, a lot of people will do a month at a time. Uh, here, we'll just go ahead and do one week. So we'll pick the, the first full week of November and you click on the first day of the week that you wanna schedule. If you pick a specific historical data period, it will use just that data. If you leave it blank, it will use all of the data that you have for that scheduling group. Down here, we're able to select the metrics that we want to use. Uh, so by default, we're gonna have a goal of 75 percent of calls answered within 30 seconds and then we're going to account for 20 percent shrinkage so these are people who will be unable to uh, complete the activities they have scheduled for due to absenteeism uh, or computer issues or you know any other issue that's going to cause them to not be able to do their scheduled activity there's two other metrics we can add we can add average speed of answer so how long do we want to give our agents to answer the call that's going to get added to the average handle time and then the other one here is occupancy uh, and that's going to be how much time uh, how, what percentage of time are your agents going to be doing their scheduled activity so uh, the other percentage of time you know could be uh, spent not interacting with their customers so you you pick the metrics that you want to schedule against and then you go to add scheduling groups here we want to pick the scheduling groups uh, that we want to forecast for you can do one or you can do many uh, here you can also select the engagement capacity so if this is a omni channel uh, omni channel scheduling group uh, the engagement capacity can be set for those messaging cues uh, to make sure that you're allowing your agents to take multiple messaging interactions at a time. So we'll go ahead and add our queue and then we'll hit generate forecast. I was going to say it can take up to 30 minutes and depending on uh, the amount of data you have that can take uh, just a couple minutes uh, or it can, as I said, take up to 30. All right, this took about a minute on my side to finish. I've got about six months worth of sample data in here. Uh, so this, this can and usually does run fairly quickly. So we'll click on the forecast now that it's completed. And the, the initial view here is a chart of the whole week. We can click on an individual day uh, or multiple days here at the bottom to select uh, just that data to view. Now looking at this, this is going to show the volume of interactions and uh, down here at the bottom we have a table of the number of interactions and then the average handle time for those interactions for each interval through uh, the forecasted time period. If you need to edit this forecast for any reason, you can hit the edit forecast button here and you're able to uh, do it in bulk here where you're adding a specific number of interactions or percentage uh, and you can also edit the table down here uh, so if you need to edit uh, a specific section uh, you can edit the number of interactions or the handle time uh, you can also click on the chart itself and you're able to drag and drop uh, a specific entry here you can adjust that chart now you can save the edits here, you can view previous edits. Uh, in this case, we're just going to go ahead and leave it as it was, and then we'll move to the staffing recommendation. So the forecast is how many interactions you plan on uh, having come into your contact center, and then the staffing uses those service levels and the different metrics we set up on the, uh, the initial setup to generate a staffing recommendation to handle those forecasted interactions uh, using the metrics that we set initially. So here we see, for the most part, we need eight. We have a little peak in the uh, early afternoon where we need nine. 
uh, and then a little dip in the afternoon. Likewise, uh, here on the second day, a little dip in the morning, a little peak in the afternoon. So this is gonna tell us how many agents we need taking interactions at each given interval, and we're able to use that in our scheduling in the future.